What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. Uh, my name is Tim. Uh, I am a avid San Juan 21 sailor. Um, I've been sailing off and on for years with my dad, and I got my first boat finally this past summer, and I got my first regatta New Year's Day. So, uh, good evening, good morning, whatever you want to call it. It's 1 30 in the morning. I can't sleep because I got so much going on in my mind right now trying to get ready for this regatta this weekend. So, I kind of want to go over a couple things. Um, we all have boat, boats that we don't want to spend a lot of money on, but we want the best of the best. Well, where, where do you draw the line? Where do you sit there and draw the line of what, what to do? Let, let's all face it. Sales are expensive. Sales, I mean, a set of these sales right here with the jib, I mean, brand new, not original sales. You're looking easily about, oh man, I want to say, Easily fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars for a brand new set of sails, and I don't. I'm not looking to spend that kind of money right now on the boat. So there's a couple of techniques my dad showed me um, when I was younger that I learned, and there's a couple guys that I've learned it from that are avid sailors. One was uh, I got a retired gentleman from the Navy that he he learned this um, because this is part of somewhat I guess part of his training was what he was saying. So, but you got sails that are worn out. You got sails that have stains on them. You got sails that have rust on them. I mean, mildew. So what do you do? You sit there and every time you go sailing, you come back in and you roll the sails out, not in the house, obviously, because your old woman or something like that is going to get mad because you got wet sails in the house. Um, fortunately, I don't. But um, you roll the sails out, get all the water, let it dry out completely so you don't put them up wet. That's how you avoid the mildew, right? So you roll it out, you let it air dry. Usually what I do, y'all, is I'll take the back of the boom and I'll hook it here and I'll hoist it up in a tree. And then I'll take the other part of the boom and just let it hang down. Um... And then I'll take the top of the sail and strap it in another tree. and the, So it's kind of like hanging down, like flapping. And it just, it air dries what it does. I do the same thing with the jib. I don't keep them side by side. But there's a couple things that came to my attention that I feel like this would help y'all. Um, if you know anything about sailing, you don't want a bed sheet. You, you want the crisp tight sail well you can't really get a crisp tight sail from an old sail right so there's a couple things that i was taught that i'm gonna go over of how to preserve your sail as best as possible um so recently i just took the sail off the boom because the boom was blue and i'm getting ready to paint my boat so i painted it black uh yes y'all gonna judge me yes i'm painting the bottom part of my boat black and i'll probably paint this the, actually the whole complete hole of it and the top part of the rub rail black and i'll have a lime green stripe yes judge me all you want but those are my colors and that's what i'm gonna go with no i'm not painting the top of the boat black so it's not gonna yeah so forth anyways so these are original clark sails they came with san juan 21s so this is the original 2120 sail for the San Juan 21 that I have. So a couple things for you new sailors. You have these things called battens. Right here. Right here. Right here. Up here. They get smaller as you go up the sail. So, but these battens have pieces of plastic in them. They're literally like see that i don't know if you can see that or not but it's literally pieces of plastic so the first thing you want to think about is you don't want to break these these form the sails these help form the sails these keep that the sail from luffing in the back um these help form that airplane wing that you want with the sail so you gotta think about these when you're cleaning the sails i am actually missing a couple so i have the top one i am missing this one and I have this one, 
And I believe this one, yep, I'm missing this one also. So actually, I'm actually going to make my battens before the race um, Friday, New Year's Day. So I'm going to make those. But usually, so what I've been told is you sit there, if you want to thoroughly clean these cells, you don't put them in the wash machine. I've heard people put them in the wash machine. Please don't do that. I beg you, don't put them in the wash machine. <laughs> Just don't do it. So what you'll do is you'll pull the sail off and you'll literally sit there with Dawn dishwashing detergent, a bucket of water, and a brush. And you can either put it on the grass. I don't recommend putting it on concrete because you'll it will has a potential to rip the sail, put more damage to the sail or whatnot. But literally take a bucket of Dawn's dishwashing detergent, soap, soapy water with a brush, and you'll sit here and you'll scrape, or not scrape, but you'll brush this sail. Y'all, this sail was so much dirtier than it was now. Like before, all this, I don't know if you can see it, my lighting's not good. All this right here was completely, y'all, I had, I had a bad stain, a bad stain. And I sat there with Dawn dishwash detergent, scrubbed this out of the sail, I rinsed it off, and then I flipped it over. I didn't let it dry, I flipped it over, did the same thing on the other side, rinsed it off. Don't put bleach on your sails, please don't do it. You're gonna come back at me and say, you all, well I put bleach on my sails because I want them white again. Don't do it, don't do it. Bleach will destroy lines on your boat, and bleach will destroy your sails. Um, trust me, I know. I've had a sunfish. Thought, hey, I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to prove my dad that, hey, I can do this. Yeah, no, don't do it. So, Dawn, with, Dawn dishwashing detergent. And I haven't tried it yet, but I want to try Simple Green or Purple Power. Purple Power is a little, actually, both those are a little strong. So, I may try Comet. On these sales at some point not not before the regatta but I'll check comment on these sales at some point um, so these sales I'm not too worried about if I if I mess them up fine I'll go ahead and buy new sales but these are my test sales so but with that being said you clean both sides Dawn dishwashing detergent uh, rinse it off flip it over Dawn dishwashing detergent with a brush and then after that you rinse it off um, usually I'll hang it up in a tree and I'll sit there and I'll just hose it off. Just let it just hose all the soap off. Just let it sit. Here's the important thing. You want it to be on a sunny day because there's such thing as sun bleaching. It doesn't hurt the sail. Um, actually my dad has done it and it actually cooks off any mildew. It cooks off a lot of the residual it cooks off a lot on the sail. So on a sunny day, believe it or not, you want to have these sails out hanging up. I've actually sat here before. I hadn't sailed in, let's say, a month. And I see a sunny day coming up. I will pull these sails out back out of the boat on purpose to clean them, rinse them off, and hang them up. Because that sun will cook off these stains. Okay? So that's pretty much your basic your, your basic clean. That's that's all you really can do for these sails. You got old sails, you can't get them tight again. You can't get them they're, they're going to be bed sheets. I'm sorry. You just can't get the get the tightness and the form back in them. You just can't do it. So that's what I do to get these sails clean. Um for you new sailors, I'm going to show y'all something. Um, you don't want to just roll these sails up. You don't want to just sit here and just roll and roll. You don't want to do that. So what you actually want to do is you want to take this corner. Cause remember you got those battens up there. You want to take this corner and you're going to pull it to where it's almost in line with the boom. I'm going to pull it just a little bit over. So I'm going to do that right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 
and roll it. Now there is a reason behind this. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this. It's not gonna be nice and pretty, but I'm gonna hold this and keep rolling. And what I gotta do is I gotta make sure it's off this neck because this is the part that goes into the mast. So you wanna have enough room to slide this back on top of the mast. So I'm gonna keep rolling and I'll pull it down with me. Now, here's the, here's the important part. <clears throat> You get to the battens. What happens if you take a piece of plastic and just fold it? It's gonna crack, it's gonna break. So this one does not have the batten. The up there has the battens. But what you wanna do is you wanna pull it and you wanna take it to where it's directly flat with the sail. I'm gonna see if I can set this up. I don't know if I can or not. May or may not work. Uh, dag burn it. Nope, this ain't gonna work. Anyways, <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to take, you want to make sure this batten is completely flush against the boom. So your sail's gonna be at an angle. But if you notice, my batten seam is right here. So when you roll this, continue to roll this, it's going to stay flat. Yes, you're going to have creases in your sail. Don't worry about it. Because remember, you're not going to put the sail up wet. So creases, you'll be okay. It's, it's fine. Now, newer sails, newer sails, I'm going to tell you right now. I take my new sails off the boom. It's, I know it's a lot of work, and I know it sounds crazy, but new sails, I pull off the boom. I just do. It just, it's just what I do. It, it preserves them for longer, I feel like. So I'm going to keep rolling. I'm going to pull it down here so I have enough room. And now that that batten is straight on the boom, you can keep pulling the mass down and keep pulling it down. Now keep in mind, your sail. Is automatically curved so you have this one this you have this batten straight but when you get up here it's gonna get curved and curved and more curved so you've got to sit here and work with it and make sure everything is straight all right here's the thing I have a batten in this one I'm gonna take it I'm gonna fold it just like this. I'm going to see, you can see this batten. This batten is flat against the boom. It's not bent, it's not curved, it's not wrapped around the boom. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna fold it just like that. Uh, it's hard to do one handed, holding the camera in the other hand. I'm gonna take it. Plus, it's touching my fishing poles. Keep wrapping it just like that. Yes, your sail. Now, you can sit here and pull on it, snug it up, all that fun stuff. And remember, it doesn't have to be pretty. But you want the battens flat on the boom. I can't stress that enough. If you don't have those battens flat on the boom, you're going to break them. I can't tell you how many times I've sat there and I rolled my dad's sail up for him because I thought, hey, I'm going to do this to help him out. It's going to speed the process up of getting the boat out of the water. And I roll the sail up and I break the batten. My dad literally kept spare battens with him because of this. So... I'm going to keep rolling, keep rolling, again this one, no batten in this, in this pocket, so I'm kind of just lay it over, keep rolling.
And some of y'all may sit here and say, well, he's doing this backwards. Yes, y'all, I am. I'm sorry. It's 1.30 in the morning. And as long as the battens are staying straight at this point, y'all, I don't care. But I'm going to do this. And I'm going to roll it. Rolling it now. Here's the other thing. I won't film this part, but I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna show you what I do. I take the sail and I flatten it out like that, and I will take the jib and I'll pull it over. Yes, y'all. The jib is a bed sheet, also. It's not what you want. I know. I will take this jib and I will flatten it out with the main. And the jib you don't have to worry about with battens. And I'm going to take this jib and I'm going to tuck it right up in there. And this is for the sailboats, the sloops that have... Um, they don't have rolling furlers on the front where you roll the jib up. But literally what I do is I'll take it just like that, y'all. And uh, pull it out. And I will start wrapping this boom. I'll start wrapping this jib in with the main. So what's going to happen is, in fact, this jib is actually backwards. Think about it. This is the front of the boom. This is the back of the boom. Make it easier. You want that on front. You want this on the back. So I'm going to take this part of the jib and I'm going to yo this is so hard with one hand I'm not gonna lie <laughs> like good grief that worked out somewhat all right I'm going to take it and pull it back down, just like that. And yes, I'm working on my sails. I'm sorry, but that's what I do. I don't have boots on. I don't have tennis shoes on. And like I said, these are used sails. I'm not worried about these as much. All right. So I'm not going to continue filming because it's already at 18. It's almost a 20-minute film. But you can see what I'm getting ready to do here. I'm getting ready to roll this sail, roll the jib up into the main and that keeps everything tight and I just take the main sheets and just sorry I just take the jib sheets and just wrap it so with that being said that's basically your maintenance main, basically your uh, maintenance your cleaning uh, how to store your sails I actually have a sail bag that I put the whole jib in but with that being said, y'all, this, uh, yeah, that's it. Y'all take it easy. Have a good day. Um, happy sailing.